thee the Lord who has been on our side. Now may Israel say, if it has not been the Lord who has been on our side, when men swallowed us, when men rose up against us and they wanted to swallow us, but our God delivered us. From all our fears, Peleato Satai, Irentos Capaliata, Isin de Paleata, Isute Palacasa, Isute Pelecasa, Isute Pelecasa, Retoso Cephalacasa, we lift up holy hands and we bless his name. We adore him, we say, Blessed be to him, Holocota Massa, Isuta Palacima, Iros. Zosamba, Alintos Kepa, Irezo Zoba, Ipandes Kepalia, Atipelecos Kepa, Reto Sotepe, Isunta Paliata, Asentes Kepa, Isunta Pelecasa, Isunta Pelecasa, it has been God, Atole Kesela, Isunta Pelecasa, Isunta Pelecasa, Isunta Pelecasa, Isunta Pelecasa, Pelacasa, a son de 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 Pelacasa, Pelecasa, Rosson de Palai, Sula Pelecasa, Asenta Pelecasa, Arrasso, bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Sula Pelecasa, Pelecasa, Sula Malacasa, Irota Pa, to call the glory Lord, Irrigate the Pa, Isunda Palacasa, Isenda Palaca, Asin. Tescape, a Loto Palacasa, Irantos Capaleasa, Sima Lakiba, a Lule Lebe, Irim Palaya, Maria Taya, Iconde Palas, Supalakiasa, a Santa Palacasa, Iresa Bele, a Timalakia, Irantos Capa, Isola Palacasa, a Sun de Pel, Icala Balasa, a Sun. Let all that is in me. Bless the name of the Lord. Apulakosa, Apulakata. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Paliata, Ipanaso, Apulakosa, Ipanaso, 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 and all that is in you, he holy case, he sought his holy name, he superlaya, he took the pain, he looked at the boy, he saw the pain, he saw the pain, kala pala kasa, pala kasa, rosa, he lamba la, in pala kasa, he saw the pala kata, he raka the pain, he raka the pain, alia ta, asim pala. I palakiata, a pandos cape, a pandos cape, a pandas cape, a resape, a resape, a resape, a palakuala wonder paliata, a simple casa, a ponda palace, a prosape, a 
for we have come unto Mount Zion, Papa. Come into the city of the Lord, Papa. Like here, to the innumerable company of angels, and the to the assembly of the firstborn, we have come to the place where the spirit of just men are made perfect. few seconds the next 30 seconds you want to share the page tell somebody that the Reverend Stephen of Miyamuaku is already online share it it's another series of faith series it is another episode of faith series you want to share it to somebody right now we salute the leadership of the Methodist Church Ghana the presiding bishop we send greetings to the Bishop of Tema Diocese, to the Superintendent Minister of the Tema Circuit. In the name of Jesus, we want to pray. We're lifting up a voice of prayer to God as we have started the Shepherd series. We want to say that as He is our Shepherd, may He guide us to pleasant places. Jesus. May all things fall into pleasant places. Ah. May all things work together for our good. Yes, Lord. As he is our shepherd yes, and he is leading us. Yes, Lord. He says his name is Jehovah Rohi, ah. which means the Lord our shepherd. May that shepherd guide us. Jesus. May that shepherd order our steps. May he lead us in the name of Jesus. We want to lift up a voice of prayer. Wherever you are, that oh Jehovah Rohi, order my steps in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, order our steps of God. 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 
Exalt his name to magnify his name on I this afternoon. If it hasn't been the Lord, where would we have been?
Glory be, glory 
Share the page, share the page, share the page, share the stream. Get somebody to join us. Get somebody online. Get somebody online. We have just 10 minutes to be out of the studios, 10 minutes to be out of the screen. Get somebody online. Get somebody online. Fit series, we are on, we are on. We have the Reverend Prophet Banahine all the way from Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Meridian Congregation, an anointed prophet of God in the house. Put your hands together, let's honor God's servant and God's anointed general. We have the prophet early here, all the prophets are in the house, everybody here. We honor God for the prophet Roger, an anointed man of God, full of power, grace, and oil. I mean, anytime he comes into the house, it becomes something else. God bless you, everybody, for being online. Get somebody, share the page. If you haven't shared the page, share it now. Share it now. You have just seven more seconds. Seven more seconds. Share the page. Get somebody online. Comment. Get online. Get online. Get online. Get online. The shepherd 
shepherd, the shepherd, the shepherd. Let me know you are online. Let me know you are online. Comment the shepherd, the shepherd, the shepherd, the shepherd, the shepherd, the shepherd, the shepherd. This series is, is titled The Shepherd, the Shepherd. And I, I thought I would have about 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 uh, four weeks um, of it, but the, the, the senior prophet Eli and the senior most prophet George Wesley Tego have done justice to it last week. Tuesday and Thursday, it was awesome. The parable of the soup amidst the teachings. Come on. That was awesome time in his presence. The shepherd, the shepherd, the shepherd, the shepherd. They've already killed the message, but I, I wanted to even change it for us to start a new series today. But because I had mentioned it, I mean, they have killed the thing. They have killed the thing. They have killed the thing. We want to wish all our Muslim brothers and sisters, Baika uh, de Salah, happy uh, Eid Mubarak. We want to honor God for their life and we thank God all my Muslim friends. Uh, uh, today is Eid Adha feast and we want to thank God the feast of the sacrifice and uh, we want to thank God for your life wherever you are. God bless you for the sacrifices. Those Christians who are walking around looking for, for, for meat. <laughs> Those Christians walking around looking for meat, for soup, and for, and for stew tonight. I'm asking you, when it is your time, do you share yours? Do you share yours? The patrimony didn't cry the door. Ah! But we have benefited from it anyway. I mean, I'm a Becca boy. I grew up in Fadama. So those days, we got our share of the camel from, from, from Chief Imam's place. Hi. Some 23. Some 23. Some 23. Prophet of God, let's go. Psalm 23. A popular scripture. Every child is aware of it. Popular scripture. Go, prophet. Psalm 23. Go on, And prophet. the verse 1. Come on. A psalm of David. A psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. A psalm of David. Prophet of God. It means that this psalm was written by David. A psalm of David. A psalm of David. Now, the psalms are hymns. So the psalms are hymns. We have hymns. We have psalms. And then we have canticles. The psalms are hymns. They were sung. They were sung. Even in the New Testament, there were, there were some of them which were sung. And so, this one, the Bible says, a psalm of David, which means this particular one was written by David. Now, people are of the view, and people think that all the psalms were written by David, but it is not true. It is not true. It is not true. It is not true. Our video trending from last week is build your capacity. And so, you must build your capacity. Take your time. Take your time and, and learn. Build your capacity. Build your capacity. Build your capacity. Take your time and learn. Take your time and learn. Build your capacity. Now, it is not all the books, uh, all the chapters in the, in the book of Psalms that were written by David. This one, it particularly says that a psalm of David. Now, Psalm 23, everybody knows that it was written by David. Now, the psalms, some of them were written by Moses. Some of them were even written by King Solomon. Some of them were written by David. Some of them were written by the sons of Korah. Some of them were written by Asaph. Some of them were written by Haman the Ezraite and then Ethan the Ezraite. And so the Psalms were not entirely written by David. You must know it. Build your capacity. Don't let anybody cheat you when it comes to the written word of God. But when it comes to the written word of God, then it means you are lazy. It means you are lazy. But this one, the Bible will say, a Psalm of David. It means that it was written by David. A Psalm of David, a psalm of David. Now, let me add this one to it and then let's move on. Let me add this one to it, write this one down and let's move on. You know, prophet of God, the psalms were so important to the Jews. When you take the Torah out, it was the psalms which were so important to the Jews because in most cases, the psalms were written by people they believed were prophets or they were priests or kings. And so, after the Torah, which is the five books of Moses, what the Jews regarded most was the Psalms. And so, the Jews, in their way, had 
categorize the Psalms into five various parts. And all these five various parts, they attributed it to the five books of Moses. That is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. So, they had divided the book of Psalms from Psalm chapter 1 to, to Psalm doesn't have chapters, sorry. From Psalm 1 to Psalm 41. Psalm doesn't have chapters. Psalm doesn't have chapters. Psalm chapter 1, it is wrong. Psalm doesn't have chapters. Psalm doesn't have chapters. It is a psalm. It is a hymn. They have verses and stanzas. It doesn't have chapters. For, so from Psalm 1 to Psalm 41 was, was, was equated to Genesis. Because from Psalm 1 to Psalm 41, it talks about how we are undeserving, but God elected us. Like in Genesis, we didn't create ourselves. God created us. God placed us in the Garden of Eden. And so, from Psalm 1 to Psalm 41, it's equated to Genesis, and it talks about God's election, how God will choose people who are undeserving and give them grace. Then from Psalm 42 to Psalm 72 was also equated to Exodus, and that one talks about salvation. It talks about salvation. You know, salvation started when God took the people of Israel from Egypt and then took them through the wilderness, through the Red Sea, to the Promised Land. And so from Psalm 42 to Psalm 72, it talks about the salvation of God. Then from Psalm 43 to uh, 73 to 83, also talks about sanctification. Sanctification. And so it is also equated to the book of Leviticus. Equated to Leviticus. Then from 84 to 106, 84 to 106 talks about warfare. And so that one is also equated to the book of Numbers. Warfare, how God had fought many battles, uh, those that involved Balak, involved Balaam and the rest, and had rescued the people through warfare, through battle. Then the last aspect was from Psalm 107 to Psalm 150. Psalm 150, Psalm 150, Psalm 150, Psalm 150, Psalm 150, Psalm 150, it was equated to the book of Deuteronomy. And that one talks about the obedience, obedience of God's people, obedience of God's people. Now, this was how they revered the Psalms, that they had categorized them to fit the Torah. That is the Pentateuch. Now, look at it. This is it. But what we are talking about in Psalm 23, this one was written by David. It was written by David. Now, it is a psalm that everybody, when you mention it, knows that it talks about the shepherd, the shepherd, the shepherd. And in all the psalms, there are things that even talks about the coming of Jesus Christ. All of them, they represent the coming of Jesus Christ. Now, so Psalm 8 will talk about the son of man, the son of man. The son of man in Psalm 8. Now, Psalm 1 will talk about the blessed one. The blessed one. The blessed one. Psalm 1. The blessed one. Psalm 3 will talk about the accused one. The accused one. All of them. But Psalm 23 has the theme of the shepherd. The shepherd. It is on that note I want somebody to note that in this series, you must put yourself in the shoes of a shepherd to be able to understand and work with us. Because I realize that in most cases, God will use your reference point and talk to you. So to the mason, God will tell him that I am the stone the builders rejected. To the one who is hungry and thirsty, he tells them that I am the living waters. So at every point in time, God would want to use your reference point to reveal himself. Nobody gets a revelation above his reference point. Because if you are a, a, a fishmonger and God decides to reveal himself as a medical doctor, you won't understand. Hello? That is why a lot of the miracles Jesus did around the disciples, Peter and the rest, they involve fishing. What do you mean? And so this is a young boy, David, 
He had no experience. They had left him in the wilderness to keep the flock. And so God would want to reveal himself to him as a shepherd. In all these ways, one of them on the things you must put behind your mind is that God wanted to show him that as you are to the sheep, so I am to you. Hello? Prophet, read verse 1 for us. Let's see if we can do verse 1. And then we will continue for the sake of time. Let's do The Lord is my shepherd. 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 I love it. The Lord is my shepherd. And I come through the Bible wanting to find some of the activities of the shepherd. And David himself will tell us in First Samuel chapter 17 from verse 34. When David met Samuel and he said that as I keep over the flock of my father, then come a bear or a lion and take it one of them. He says, I run and chase after it. And then I catch this bear or lion and I give it a knock and take the lamp out of its mouth. Then I realize that then the first duty of the shepherd was to care for the sheep. And so wherever the sheep is going, no wonder in the New Testament he will rephrase it and say unto them, how many of you have hundred sheep that will go feeding and then one of them will be lost and would not leave the ninety-nine and go in search of the one. It talks about how caring this man is a prophet of God. I have been asking myself, how is it possible for David to give this bear a knock? Because as Santifuang Metin Sun Tichemungeno, se won sa eshu be a numwa, a ya ye money chedia. If it's a woman chedia and simply to me a case you won't san so. But David is say, Media me chin sisreni jataya, me po wamu chedia, no ma sign so so a ye a puano every woman number. It means that our God is such a skillful man that he can take us out of COVID-19 and no harm shall befall us that there can be a third effort, a second wave of COVID but he is so skillful that he can take us through, we will maneuver our way through our daily activities and yet we are not disturbed by it he cares for us he cares for us he cares for us no wonder he will say come unto me all ye that are heavy laden and I will give you rest the other day they brought the woman and said the Torah says that we should stone her because we caught her in the act and Jesus would say he who had not seen before cast the first stone he cares for us now on the road to Jericho they had beaten this man and robbers had attacked him there came the prophet the prophet saw and said I have a message to deliver on faith clinic it is time for faith series let me get there early for the service and the prophet left there came the steward the steward said by now offering time is over the money is there I must count them and account for it and so he also left the man then they came a Samaritan, someone who had no dealing with the man. Then the Bible says when he got there, he got down from his horse or donkey and attended to him and I am asking myself which man will go on a journey and carry bandage and carry gentian violet and carry mentilated spirit ready to meet somebody it is only the man that cometh from above the man that knew no sin but came to become sin for us he comes ready he is a caring God he is a caring man he is a caring God. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. 
He cares for us. Ye mubin kabebi ya ne namni zembi ya di anwake kano and kaya se o wumpo. But he cares for us. Ye mubi ya bi munyaya nanka bibi ya toye. But he cares for us. Ya mi ben tonye et wan yum tu fubi tone yum se anwan wa dope ni se yesu wu ademaye. Was it for God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son? He cares for us. He cares. He cares. He cares. He cares. Nyami bay. Then what do you say? Nyami bay. Then what do you say? And you will see. Na se sisire ni jata ni panu amu be chi emu ani biya. Mi dimri kedi wamwe chi nyami bay pokre niye. Ena yenya de monye fo. And you can wear nyaya ma ye boni nti. If you say bay boni kwa mi ati ya siye se. Boni wo ho ina kedi ya eni o wo. And you ye boni ni kese yi go jaye ma ye wo. But you say se o wo bi ba be so wo mo mwa. Me kona me ko bo wo wo ni kedi ye. Na me yimi mane. Oh come on somebody. Is somebody here at all? Somebody shout he cares. Oh come alive. Somebody shout he cares. Are you with me at all? Somebody shout he cares. When now mama kai message ya ye preachi wo assemblies of God ye Bible say and Jesus saw ahead in that village a young cot that was tied there. Na Jesus ye kwa kuku ne afunu mo ba ya chichi ne dia efa hope wo bi antna ne soda but he cares for us 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 ye say ye mama su. If God had left us to the bears and the lions, you take a look at it. Bible said one bear, one lion, one serpent, one vulture. You can use any dirty name you want for it. When, the, when God was having a conversation with the angels, and when he went, he went to accuse one of God's chosen. He went to talk ill about Job. Hey, Obani phone in Nyaya, and Kadebi and Kahi would accuse us. And then the Bible friend is the accuser of the brethren, but he cares for us. He cares. He cares. He cares. The Lord is my shepherd. He cares. Apart from the care, no. David and the man meeting shepherd. Yes, he follow me in this series. David is saying, "Na se jatani sisi omo saibe biwa omo saibe biwa wasi wendi mi kuomo first one mi bo omo koko ne mo mo omo saibe swote no omo be biwa mi saibe susu e kuomo at the kaho it means that the thing that was meant to devour you when they come again I stop them you must put yourself in the shoes of 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 a shepherd for you to understand you see sometimes you must be a preacher to understand the preacher. Sometimes you must be a singer to understand the singer. And yes, sir, you'll be full of criticisms. I know to no one to hand me. You must know what it means to sing. for it to feel and some what criticize you will be. And a keyboard ni yam money ye. And a sound in the end yet. And a sound man on ya day. And a basis on ya day. And a soft no preacher ye. Sometimes you must stand behind the cameras and see how it is. Sometimes you must be in the position of a protector to understand what it means. Sometimes when I receive the messages, I am going through them and writing prayer points for people. I ask myself how can it be? Now until you become an intercessor you will not understand what it means to intercede. Sometimes you must be a protector for you to understand when the Lord becomes the one that protects and shields you. Sometimes. Sometimes. He protects. But see, the thing that was meant to devour you, I stop it. Oh, no wonder we are not afraid of the lions. <laughs> Is somebody with me? Is somebody here? The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. That which is meant to devour us. That which, oh, come alive, come alive. Is somebody here? Is somebody here? That COVID-19 that is meant to devour us. He said, I stop it. That marital issue that was meant to stop you. He says, I stop 
them first. Is somebody in church at all? Have you been told by your mother one time or the other that when I was pregnant with you, at a point in time, the doctor said you cannot make it with this child? Is somebody here who has a testimony like that? Have you had a testimony with even malaria that you felt that you were giving up and you felt that this was the end? He said that which was meant to devour you, I stop it. That which was meant to bring you down, I stop it. That which was meant to destroy you, I stop it. I come in the name of the eternal Emmanuel. I come in the name of the shepherd that anything meant to devour you, any marital issue meant to devour you, any bear, any lion, any vulture, any demonic eagle, any which drop COVID meant to destroy you in the sickness kidney failure meant to attack you the Lord is your shepherd the Lord is your shepherd the Lord is your shepherd you need to have kids and protect them for you to understand what it means when God says I am protecting you you need to have a congregation and protect for you to understand when God says I am protecting you the Lord Hey, COVID-19. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. They shall come in one direction, but they will flee in seven other. For when they come up like a flood against us, hey, our shepherd will lift up a standard against them. And on that note, we declare that no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. For a thousand shall fall by our side, ten thousand by our right, neither shall they come near us. For the Lord is our our shepherd for the Lord is our shepherd for the Lord is our shepherd anybody who has missed an accident anybody who has been involved even in an accident and has survived anybody that has been to a hospital and has survived anybody that has seen the daughter or son fall ill and has survived ah, can I hear that person shout can I hear that person clap can I hear that person comment in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. Lord is my shepherd. Rob, I, I want to end the Lord is my shepherd. I want I wanted to end it. I wanted to end verse one. I want to the Lord is my shepherd. My shepherd. My shepherd. Number one, he cares. Number two, he protects. Number three. I like the sense of ownership that David used in this psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. Hello? My microphone. My house. My car. My children. My wife. My husband. My shepherd. Zivalua Katini Mikata. The last time I was saying something with the prophet Eli and I said, one of the things that baffles me about the love of our God is that how can a God so mighty like him, an omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient God who owns everything, how can such a God allow himself to be owned by mere mortals? How can a God who owns everything allow himself? I, I cannot even hear him say, my Akufuadu. The last time somebody used that, he had an issue saying that the president was in his pocket. He had an issue. I can't even say that. But our God allows us to say, my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Prophet, you now understand where we get our faith, our encouragement, where we get, where we get the energy to move on from. It is not because I am a man of God. It is not because I have a good structure. It is not because I can sing. It is not because I belong to the church. The Lord is mine. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. One of the things theologically that made this sound very popular in the olden days and among the Jews was that 
character. The Jews never personalized the Lord. It was a mistake for you to personalize the Lord because he is our God. Oh, Israel, the Lord our God is one. It is our God, not my God. Hello? Now, to them, it was, you can't, you can't. That is why, even when they were translating the scriptures, any time you get to where the tetragrammaton was, you need to perform an ablution and come back. You can't write Yahweh like that. You know, even when you are speaking the Hebrew language, you must be careful. What can give you up is when you use Yahweh. Because anytime you use Yahweh in your conversation with a Jew or somebody who is a scholar in Hebrew, he knows that right from the beginning, you are a beginner in Hebrew. Because you never use the word Yahweh. You can't. You can't. That is why in the time you find in the Old Testament, when they use capital letters for Lord, L-O-R-D, capital letters, that place was Yahweh. They can't. So they translated all the tetragrammaton into Adonai. Into Adonai. That is why they will use capital L-O-R-D, Lord. That place, it stood for Yahweh. It stood for Yahweh. So it was not easy for you to personalize it and say, the Lord is my shepherd. But you see, David had come to an understanding of what the shepherd is. Ah, come on, come on. And even our art and sculpture, they depicted it very, very well. Anytime they had, when we were growing up, anytime we saw the image of Jesus Christ, he holds the lamb close to. And the Akwebine can ask them, was in the entire Enyai Ejimi Nina Efi Yesu Christo. Yesu na Adiji Nyai Shua Mo Mejimi Debiya Na Yesu Afe Nyai Ebi Atunom Kuku Mo Ame Nyai Wa Adiji Nyai Shua Me Nyai Ejimi. Hello. He says, the Lord is my shepherd. We are able to go about our daily activities not because we are of ourselves, but because the Lord is my shepherd. I don't know about you, but if somebody will personalize this, if somebody will have this conversion even throughout the day, as you are going to and flow, just say to yourself, the Lord is my shepherd. I, I, I don't care about the others. If they are commenting, that is not my problem. If they are typing it, that is not my problem. If they are responding, that is not my problem. But what I know is that the Lord is my shepherd. Tell your wife, we are looking for fruit of the womb. But tell her that the Lord is our shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is your shepherd. Things are not going on well, but tell to your Serve. The Lord is my shepherd. I like the sense of ownership that David applied to this test. The Lord is my shepherd. Oh, if the Lord can become your shepherd, then that was the reason why in John the word became flesh and dwelleth among men, and we beheld his glory. The glory not out of men, but out of God. That is why the word can become flesh because we have personalized it. And so the word which has husband in it can become flesh for you. The word which has wife in it can become flesh for you. The word which has promotion and job in it can become flesh for you. The Lord is my shepherd. And because he's my shepherd, I shall not want. 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 I will not want because he is my shepherd. But look at it. Prophet, let's end on this. And then Prophet Eli, you lead us in some one minute of prayer. Let's end on it. Look at it. He says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You know that sha is a legal term. And, and, and you see, I shall not want. Sha is a command. And so anytime you use sha, it becomes a commandment. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not want. Hello? Am I getting home? The Lord is my shepherd. And because he is my shepherd, I shall not want. It's a command. Forget about belittling me. <laughs> 
Hey, forget about telling me who I am not and who you are. Do you know me? Oh, come on. I don't need to know you. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Forget about intimidating me. Somebody tell yourself, forget about intimidating me. Sometimes you must tell the word, forget about intimidating me. Forget about telling me what you have more than I have. And forget about what you think you are better than I am. Because he is my shepherd. Anything I need to survive in my destiny, as long as my journey on earth is concerned, I shall not. I feel somebody is, I, I wish somebody is getting here I, I wish somebody is getting here if you don't get this part it will be difficult because all I am doing in, 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 in verse 1 prophet all I am doing in verse 1 is to talk about the personhood all the 6 verses I will talk about P in all the 6 verses in verse 1 I am talking about the personhood verse 2 I will talk about the preparation I, I mean all I am doing is to talk about the personhood who is this person he is our shepherd. He is our shepherd. He cares. He protects the ownership. How he is to us. And then, because he is our shepherd, we shall not want. Oh, come on. Stop intimidating me. Lions, bears, stop intimidating me. Come on. Fenua, stop intimidating me. Fear, stop intimidating me. Singleness, stop intimidating me. The fact that I'm not married, oh, stop intimidating me. The fact that I haven't given birth, oh, come on. Stop intimidating me. Stop telling me that, 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 that this is a table of men and this is for those who are not married. Stop intimidating me that those who brought cars can pack here and those who don't have cars can sit there. Stop intimidating intimidating me in the church. Those who have 10,000 CD to offer should come here for special prayer. And those who have a 100 Ghana CD and 10 Ghana CD, you just put yours in the bowl and go sit down. Stop intimidating me. The Lord is my shepherd. Because of who is my shepherd, I shall not Oh, Zalabaha. Prophet, mommy, Paul, mommy face here. Mommy face here. Hey, I, I, I want to tell you. Don't be desperate for anything. Come on, don't be desperate for anything. Don't be afraid of anything. Who is your shepherd? Who is your shepherd? Who is your shepherd? I'm asking you. Your uncle, your auntie, your, 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 your grandfather. Who is your shepherd? Who is your shepherd? Your money, your job, your, your marriage. Who is your shepherd? If the Lord is your shepherd, then he asked me to tell you that you shall not want. You shall not want. He did not say you shall not need because a need is something that is basic. He says you shall not want. You mostly will get your need before you look for your wants. And he says that for Forget about the wants. The needs have been taken care of already. Forget about your wants. Open your ear, open the and sound. Now you need to be too hard much now. Now by Moses, and you need to try the energy. So my ear need the energy. He did not say you shall not need. He says you shall not want. In most cases, the wants are not important. They are peripherals. He says even the peripherals, I will take care of them. You shall not want. You shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. I refuse to be intimidated. Come on, come on. Don't let life intimidate you. This holiday, don't let life intimidate you. The Lord is your shepherd. After this, take some very good shower. Get out there. Get some shawarma somewhere. And as you are taking it, you are telling yourself, the Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want. Get somewhere. Get some Chinese restaurant somewhere. Get some, some, some frog legs and the likes. Am I talking to somebody and tell yourself I shall not want if your car is not in yet, just order some Uber to take you run about. Just sit behind. Don't sit in front. Sit behind the Uber and tell the driver, get to the rear seat and tell yourself that I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. You are sick. Get off the sick bed and sit yourself and tell yourself the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want put your hands together let's celebrate the prophet Eli as he leads us in a time of prayer the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not I shall not want I shall not want I shall not want oh my God oh my God I think we have sinned a lot we have wanted in many ways the, if, if, if the, oh my God, 
Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not want. It means if I want, I am sinning. I, from today, I shall not want. I will not sin against the Lord any longer. I shall not want. We want to lift up prayer for the next 30 seconds that God, let this word be made manifest in my life. Let this word be made manifest in my life. Every aspect of my life, every aspect in my marriage, in my business, in my academics, whatever concerns me, let me not want in the name of Jesus. Beloved, lift your voice. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, of Jesus. Say I declare from today I shall not want I shall not want my destiny, my my marriage, marriage, my life, my, life, my finances. My finances. From, today, From today, I shall not want, I, want I shall not lack, I shall not, I shall lack, not need. Shall not for, the for the Lord is my shepherd. My for the next 30 seconds, lift your voice. Let the word of God be made manifest. I shall not want, I shall not want, I shall not want. If it is healing, I shall not want. If it is financial breakthrough, I shall not want. Whatever I need, whatever I want, I have it. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. 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 I prophesy to myself. I prophesy to my soul. I prophesy to my spirit. I prophesy to my body. I prophesy to my bank account. I prophesy to my family. I prophesy to whatever concerns me. I shall not want. I shall not lack. I shall not need. The Lord is my shepherd. He is my provider. He is careful about me. I shall not want. From today, I walk in abundance. I walk in glory. I shall not want. Oh. Praise. We give you thanks. Our God, we thank you for your word that we shall not want. That you are our shepherd and we will not want. The only criteria, Lord, we have seen is for you to be our shepherd. The rest will follow that we don't want. Father, we declare for anybody listening to the sound of your servant, let this word enter the hospitals. Where they need healing, be their health. We declare in the name of Jesus, oh God, wherever there is a need for financial breakthrough, be their help in this time. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare, let this word be made flesh in our homes. In the name of Jesus, we give you thanks. In Jesus' mighty name. We give thanks to God for such a word. I pray that you would go back and re-listen to this message. Download it. Share it with somebody. Let somebody hear. L preach the word to somebody by just sharing the link. Let somebody hear that the Lord is their shepherd. Somebody is broken hearted in a relationship. Remember to share it with the person to know that the Lord is their shepherd. They shall not lack anything. In the name of Jesus, we thank God for his word. In the name of Jesus. On Thursday, we'll be on Adum FM. 106.3. The Reverend Stephen Obinyam Mwaku will be on, on, online. I pray that the hand of God will quicken your spirit to hear his word. In the name of Jesus. The time will be 4.30. Set your alarm at 4 if you can. And hear the word of the Lord. The hour of the living seed. In the name of Jesus. Then on Sunday, miracle hour. I pray that God will cause you to wake up from your house. Whether you are in Bachona, you are in Ashama, you are in Pram Pram, Dawenya, you are in Tema, wherever you are that you can, run, join a bus, come to St. Paul's Community One, ask for the, uh, for the miracle hour, and the hand of God will surely touch you. Any sickness, any disease, may God cause a miracle to enter your home. In the name of Jesus, we give thanks to God for his mercy and for his grace. Shall we share even in the words of the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, 
and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. Amen.